Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're taking a look at Alone in the Dark. Now this is a reboot or remaster or remake of the good old game from 1992-ish. And well, it's here on Steam. Well, this uh, game apparently is kind of good. Never played it to be fair. And it's one of those mystery stuff where you go and kind of uncover secrets, you know, third person, um, all the good stuff. Now, I'm not too sure about the game's uh, history, so I'm not gonna touch that. However, what I can touch is the hardware requirements. The minimum GPU required is a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti, and the recommended GPU is actually an RTX 2060, so pretty decent requirements when it comes to it. Quite accessible uh, builds, so honestly, you know, I don't see an issue with this. So let's take a look at the options before we jump in. Uh, first and foremost, we're going for uh, full screen, 4K native, we're not going to use FSR or DLSS, and I am not using DLA. So what is DLA? DLA is essentially deep learning anti-aliasing. So if your GPU supports this feature, it will learn from the image and it will make it looking much better or sharper or, you know, essentially just noise reduction and things like that. Now, one thing to mention, this is quite taxing, to be fair. So, do you want this in 4K? <sighs> That's entirely up to you. I don't see the point of DLAA. You could use DLA with DLSS, but then you are getting the downsampling of the image and upscaling it back to 4K. It might save the day, but... You know, I wouldn't want to say you're comparing apples to apples here because it's clearly not the case, but yeah, I think you need a bit more horsepower for that. Probably DLA would be perfect on Full HD or 2K resolutions for 4K. You know, if there's a jagged edge, it's there to stay. It's always been the case. So we're going with the vertical sync off frame rate is unlimited. Graphical preset is custom because once you set everything up on Epic, the anisotric filtering automatically gets set to eight times. If you switch it to 16, you're getting the custom setting. Now, despite the fact that we're running in DirectX 11, this game is remade or remastered in Unreal Engine. So honestly, based on the Steam reviews, people are telling that there are some shader completions, some loading issues and stuff like this on even better systems than mine. So I kind of want to see, you know, how it is with these settings, because if these settings work for you great and you're ha having constant 60, fantastic you know play around with the settings any way you want for us i'm gonna leave it as it is so let's just jump into the new game and we're gonna see how it goes and yeah that's pretty much all there is we're gonna go with the modern and uh, yeah let's uh, go through the cutscene it's gonna give you the backstory what how and where and why and we're just gonna go from there so yeah just uh kick back and relax and enjoy we'll see how how this works out for us Also, only the cutscenes are frame cap. the game is not, so don't worry about if you see 60 frames in a cutscene, you know, it's kind of like part of the part of the bundle here when you get the game, so... Yeah, anyhow, I'm gonna shut up. This cutscene is actually gonna go a fair couple minutes, so oh, if you want, you can just cool. skip forward and uh, find What's actual gameplay. Then? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to keep him. Could it be real? 
Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we gonna do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Hello? Hello? Looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Wait here. I'll go around back. Okay, so now the real game is starting and what do we have? We have 6.8 gigabytes of video memory taken and 8.4 of RAM and this is pretty secluded area so I don't know. Also the game actually looks pretty decent to be fair. Uh, to be fair, kind of your regular run of the mill Unreal Engine to be fair so you know, nothing to get too excited about. When it comes to DLA, if you would actually Enable that I would want to say you could take about one third off because everything you see on the viewport currently on the screen would need to be combed over by the deep learning algorithm and Then it would try to essentially rebuild the objects and all the textures and all the edges and everything else So honestly, it's very taxing and technically, you know, it kind of depends if this is a slow paced game Which I have no idea if it is you might actually end up with a pretty decent eye candy if it's not uh, if it is a game that requires more than 60 frames at any given times based on combat or whatnot then probably you might want to skip it and yeah let's just walk around as we are without DLAA and then we're just gonna essentially enable it and see where we stand with it but so far honestly it's not too bad GPU usage is rather consistent and yeah, you know, it's kind of look like looks like your detective stuff. You just go and search cabinets and try to get some items in your pockets here. So, you know, end of the day, it's not that terrible at all, to be fair. Kind of slightly reminds me of Murdered uh, Soul Suspect, you know, give or take, but hey ho. Let's see how it goes. What's this? Hello? Nah, I'm not getting in there. Chain door. Wait, I, I should have a gun. I'm a detective, right? Yes. Did that do the nah, trick? I'm not getting in there. Nope, it did not do the trick. Okay, fair enough. And we wasted the bullet. Oh, wait, we don't even have additional ammo for the gun. Oh, that's fantastic. 
So yeah, what, well, FPS is kind of decent. The uh, CPU is a little bit all over the place. I guess it just helps out loading mm. in the assets and everything else. So it is how it is. But outside of that, it's not too bad. You know, it's, it's not. Oh, we can run. Okay, that should speed things up. Oh, I'm dropping the frames as well. Okay, hello. I guess fast movement is not what this current game exactly enjoys. Then again, to be fair, who's who's playing games in 4K Epic? I mean, <laughs> that would uh, kind of be a dead giveaway when it comes to it. But apparently, as long as you move slowly, you're kind of within acceptable levels. Well, that's not creepy at all. Anything to get somewhere? I always wonder these people who live in these mansions, like, what do they do for a living, you know what I mean? Oh, we're getting a drink as a health kit. Okay, fair enough. What else do we have here? Housekeeper's key. Okay. What else we have? Huh? What? Don't think there was anything, but... Oh well. Okay. I mean, out of curiosity, we could try to enable DLAA. Uh, because this would be a very good place for it. There's quite a few foliage options around, so how about we just do that instead? CPU goes slightly nuts for a second. I wouldn't want to say that frame rate has dropped too tragically. The frame time is pretty high though. Like 12 milliseconds, that's... Uh, that means something is waiting on something here. And probably it's the GPU waiting on the CPU, to be fair, in all honesty, but hey-ho. I wouldn't say there's noticeable graphical improvements in terms of image quality, but it just might be myself, but okay. So, yeah, let's just go with the uh, DLA on, see at which point it's gonna bite us in the backside. And we'll just go from there, but... I wouldn't want to say DLA is my first option when it comes to games. DLSS, absolutely. In 4K, specifically if you're streaming, I would say DLSS is pretty much a requirement. But, uh, yeah, DLA, I mean, it's personal preference, I suppose. Also, we kind of need bullets. If we could get some somewhere, that'd be great. What's this? Ask and you shall be given. Look at this. We found a whole bullet. Every day your silence weighs a little. Okay. Not exactly in a Bible reading group, so. I mean, environment does look nice, but it also looks pretty bare bones if you catch my drift. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but... Oh, more bullets. Okay. Now that's probably is not too good, because if, if they give us... They give us more bullets. If they're giving us more bullets, that means there's gonna be a lot of things to shoot, I guess. So, I guess that's a... Uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> this is getting worried. This is getting a bit worrying. Okay, what do we have here? I'm not entirely sure where we need to go, so I'm just kind of scouting around. But if this is the overall game's performance... Oh, look at this. Sets completed. Oh, you can find different stuffs around. Lagnips are an essential items that you can find throughout the game. Completing sets will uncover forbidden knowledge and sometimes even more. Okay. So it's essentially clues. I need a key. I need a key. Okay. 
So we need to find the key somewhere. Why are they giving us this many bullets? Maybe because of the difficulty, it's like on easy. So the game thinks we're completely incapable of hitting the target, which is might be true. And there was a little stutter there as well. Not too bad. Considering this is an Unreal Engine game, I would want to say that this was... Did I do everything in here? Okay, let's continue. We can always circle back, I believe, so... Hello? Sabotage! Clue! Spoiler. It is working after all. Okay. Boiler is working. There's some steam. Hmm. What? That's a puzzle. How do you... How do you puzzle? Huh. Nothing's happening when I try to move the things. This is not working. Numpad is not working. WSD is not working. Space is not working. Well, if it's not working, it's not working. But I guess this is uh, hot steam that I should not be walking through. So I'm not gonna walk through it. That is that simple. Maybe I'm missing something for the puzzle. Maybe there's like a piece I need to find somewhere. Who knows? Apparently there's quite a few puzzles in this game. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. What's here? Aha! Uh -huh. We're gonna finally find the front door here. If I was a front door, where would I be? That was a rat. Very simplistic reflection on a mirror. Okay, fair enough. Nothing in a cupboard. Okay. Quite a few things to do here, to be fair. Like, it's... All this exploration, probably you need to remember everything you've done, and it's just... I don't have a key for this. That's a bugger. Okay. The set of floor plans. Clue. Okay. So we are... Dining. Oh, that's the... Oh, it shows the rooms as bolted, blocked, locked, unlockable, solvable. Okay. Piazza key. Open. Okay, tab view. Map. Map. Nice. I guess the map wasn't mapping. Can I just open map with a tab? No. Escape. Nope. Tab zooms in. That's that's gonna be nice. Doesn't zoom in when you aim a gun. Well, that's interesting. Maybe I can open this. Is that the piazza key? No, it's not. Okay, fair enough. More health. Are we gonna go and have a boss battle right now? Because a lot of health and a lot of bullets. Sunday, June I don't know what's that about. But yeah, performance so far is pretty decent. Then again, I don't know if the game is taking place in this house alone or are we going somewhere else. Oh, there's something called Piazza here. We are here, that's straight on the right. Would be nice if they could label stuff. Library. Hmm. I need a key. Why is every door locked? What's up with that? Oh, okay. I thought it's somewhere else, but hey ho. I don't know. I wouldn't want to say that the DLA really made too much of a difference, surprisingly. Under video, let's 
untick the box. I think we gained about like a frame or one maybe. And he's putting his hand on there. Okay, that's that's nice little detail. Okay, this kind of reminds of Resident Evil Village when you see this reflection on a uh, marble. Go I need the key. How many keys do I need? So far, I think we need at least five of them. Okay, what's this? Where can we get the key? Oh, door. Thanks. What are you doing? Who are you? Whoa, pardon me, excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. You will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? My name's Edward Carnby. Private investigator. Splendid. Enough! All of you, get back to your rooms. McCarthy, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. In the corridor, it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent, thank you, madam. Look around. See if we can dig up any clues. Okay, let's look for clues. Oh no, come on. Trying to select stuff. I I, I can do this. Slide up here. Something somewhere needs to slide. What's going on? What am I missing? Oh well, okay. Guess puzzles are not puzzling today. Locked steamer trunk. And I need a key. <laughs> Is that the running theme of this game? That you always need a key. Come on, play this book. Okay. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room. Counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Okay. Key item, there we go. So we did need that. Hold up. Oh, okay. So AD move marker, VS move marker. Oh, okay. 
Boom. Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? I would kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out. I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Save this one. All right, come on. I want to go through Dr. Gray. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. Well, something happened. That's not good. Miss Hartwood. Oh, wow. Look Emily? at the frames. CPU going nuts. Okay. Right. So the GPU usage, uh, or well, VRAM usage actually spiked up to 10 gigs. So that was a bit odd. But we're back to 9. I mean, back to 9. And yeah, the frames are kind of framing slightly. Let's see what's going on. Now we're in a different house. Now that's interesting. <laughs> oh, hello. That's why we needed bullets. Ah! Okay, I see. Come here, monsters. Should have shot that thing the moment I saw it, really. Now it ran off, or maybe it's scripted, who knows. Okay, I also need to wait until the... Aim settles a bit. It's awfully quiet if you ask me. <laughs> I don't like it. What the hell is going on? Yeah, how many bullets I have? Sixteen six. So at least two and a half reloads. Am I stuck? Come on. Joining the Conqueror. 
Where do I need to go? I probably need to go inside there. There's no one there. But the price is supplies, herbs, roots, shells, candles. Okay, it looks like that's the only place I can go. Let's chance it, see what happens. store there are no owners here we both strangers in Jeremy's story Jeremy did this how the pack with the dog man Jeremy warned us but we didn't think much of it I'm detective Edward Carnby I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him oh yeah how much you paying you hundred fifty dollars <laughs> she's sure getting her money's worth tonight are you a thinking man compare Nah, no, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know surprising things, compare. Yeah, the mama lower. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. How nice that the townspeople are completely not okay with weird things just uh, going bump in the night. You know, it's it's always a good good sign. So I guess that means uh, we are getting into more fights here. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, you know. Do I need a key for this? No, I don't, okay. There's also nothing in it. Huh. That's so... Voodoo Priestess down the road. Well, I came from that direction, so she's probably over there. I would assume also it's about time for some enemies to spawn. I mean, come on. <laughs> come on, game. Don't do me like this. I was just joking. Okay, what's the range of this gun? Three bullets to down. Okay, that makes sense why I'm seeing... Every single bullet everywhere. I wonder if the sound attracts them, if we can... Items can be thrown at enemies or used to distract them. Top key to clearly throw the item to aim. I don't have anything to throw or aim. Or oh, we can pick something up. Okay. Can I loot you? Hmm. This looks... Kind of terrible to be fair, but okay, so that's blocked. Maybe there's something there. I don't know. Let's let let's chance it. You know, end of the day. Oh, look at this bullets. So it does pay off to go here. And there's an invisible wall. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, I was I was kind of right. The good old game rules. Oh, items. Can I just use them once if I'm near them? That would be interesting. Okay, fair enough. So, objects of opportunity are around us. Hatchet. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. I, I, I like hatchets. I can't go that way. Yeah, it's a shame we can't go that way. But yeah, it's been actually half an hour, so... 
To be fair, just to recap, so far the performance is actually pretty decent with an i5 96K and 470 Ti in 4K. And yeah, we're running with DLA enabled, which actually I think we should have turned it off. But oh well, I guess the game didn't want to turn it off by itself. I don't know, it looks pretty much the same, honestly, but yeah, it runs kind of fine, so... End of the day... I guess this is just your... Go and do things... Until you find the correct things to do. So yeah. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Over and out.